let's talk about Nadal. He played Barcelona. Um, he looked pretty good. His forehand had a couple moments. His backhand had a couple moments. But his mobility really wasn't there. His serving, he was taking a lot of pace. He, I mean, he was never the paciest server ever. But now it's just like even more highlighted that there's something missing there. His mobility, his serving, and just the consistency on his forehand and backhand wasn't really there, to be honest. But what can you do? I mean, he's old. He's coming back from a lot of injuries. It's been a lot of time that he's been away. So he did. He, I think he said he is going to play Madrid. And he's probably going to play Rome. But he kind of teased that he's not going to give it his all on either of those. He's just trying to... The way I interpret it is like he's trying to, you know, play those tournaments, say his goodbyes, and try to find some rhythm. And then the one tournament that is worth leaving it all out there, maybe playing with a lot of discomfort and just getting through a game with a lot of discomfort that's worth dying for is what he used, is what he said is Paris, which is Roland Garros, which is, you know, the French Open that he's won 14 times. So we'll see. I mean, I hope he has one last amazing run in the French Open. I hope we get one more Djokovic against Rafa Nadal in Paris. That'd be amazing. Am I counting on it? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, he did look pretty good in the first match at Barcelona, but the opponent, I think he was, his, Nadal's aura was like, just psyching him out he did a lot of unforced errors so he helped Nadal out a lot once he played Deminar who's a super fast player number 11 in the world has, has having a great season it, it looked like it was hard for Nadal to get through him like he just didn't have pace on his shots and I mean in that second in that second set Deminar just beat him pretty hand pretty easily to be honest so I mean I'm holding my breath I do love seeing Nadal back and it's great to see him back on the court but I'll temper my expectations, even though, for my opinion, he's my GOAT. He's And now he's everyone's clay GOAT, obviously, so never count him out. But, I mean, it's just it's just nice to see him. The end is definitely here. You can see it. Like, this is, this is ah, uh, there's like, in my head, there's like a 2% chance he comes back next year. I know he's been saying it might be his last year, but now with all these injuries, it, it's almost assuredly his last year. He said this is probably... But he still hasn't said this is it because he pretty much said this is most likely my last year when he was talking about Barcelona. But he never said this is my last year in Barcelona. It did feel like it was his last, but we'll see how he plays it out. Just happy to see my goal back out there. And I'm hoping for a uh, better Madrid, better Rome. But obviously, I'm hoping for a great French Open.